this feel like a little bit of a coming out party for you? You had a, a few really big plays. Oh yeah, for sure. I think uh, like we kind of talked about earlier in the week, I think just getting used to the entire defense and uh, getting used to like playing out there with all those guys, the new position and everything, mm -hmm. being able to like, everything's just coming to me now and being able to play freely out there, I think it's really helping me. You had the big uh, hit and then recovery of the fumble. I mean, in your head, you're probably thinking, scoop that bad boy up and take it in. Yeah, so I uh, I actually, not gonna lie, I, I took a poor angle to the ball. And he, when he tried to cut it back, I was like, well, he has the ball out like like all the way out here. So I tried to punch it out, came right out. I saw saw some guys trying to dive for the ball. So I was like, I'm not, this is my fumble. I'm getting this fumble. <laughs> so I dove on the ball and got the ball back for us. Talk about how you're ready for the limit. Since then, I was able to limit UCF rushing in, RJ Harvey, their quarterback threat. Yeah, so that was a main focus for us this week was to shut down the run game big time. Because we know that's 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 what they resort to, and that's what we need to stop so that they can start passing the ball, so that we can get after it in the passing game. Did it throw you off with a different quarterback? You prepare for one guy, and then here comes. The yeah, thing. yeah, it was a it was a little different. I think we literally found out 15 minutes before we went out there that they're starting the true freshman, uh, and then shortly after that, they ended up putting in a new guy. So I think uh, the game plan was the same, though. It didn't really change the game plan any. We knew they liked to run it. The quarterback, both the quarterbacks could run it too. So. Nothing really changed for us. It was just go out there and play ball. How much did it help the entire linebacker room having Jonathan Thompson back? Oh, yeah. J JT is a great player. Having him back, he knows how to play multiple different positions, giving us depth and everything. And he started at Will and did a, uh, a great job mm -hmm. as well. So it's very nice to have him back. Okay. I asked. Go ahead. We talked earlier this week about wanting to improve the defense's communication. Yeah. How do you feel that went today? I think we did an excellent job of communicating the plays that we, we thought were about to come in. So like when you, you see a formation come out, uh, being able to communicate to each of the linebackers and even talk to the safeties a little bit, think, uh, tell them run, pass. We know most of the time it's gonna be run and then what kind of run you're gonna get is very helpful for all the, the entire defense. You guys also have four sacks on the day. Talk about how you were able to watch that four sacks. Yeah, that was, that was a little, uh, that was part of the game plan as well. I think getting able to, being able to stop the run and force them to pass the ball was part of the game plan. And when we got in those third and long situations, bringing packages in, uh, I know Coach Fight made some really good calls to uh, get those pressures and get some guys come free. I know I came free one play, so great calls and at, a, at the right time. So, on that last drive when UCF has taken chunks out, what's your mindset? Are you kind of just like, are you freaking out, or you bend don't break? Like, what do you think? About I think that? yeah, our, our mentality there is bend don't break. We know they have to get in the end zone, and they had a lot a lot more to go. So I think our game plan was to just hold them there. Dante made a huge sack on that play. So that gave us a little momentum back. So after that, it was our game at that point. Gotcha. All right, thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Thank you.